You're no ordinary. Where are you? May your blade hold true. Uh, I wasn't asking you to. The visions. I know. Look at you and me Aloy. guarding the memorial grove. A word, if you will. Maybe it seems Regala is our common enemy. Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Cavo. He was not counted among the dead. Which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. What made Kavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And as for Kavo, it was probably a bit of both, and a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. You said Kavo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans war constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield. But I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Kevo's squad went. Shall we head out? Let's go. Good. This way. The outpost isn't far. You know, the rebels aren't going to give up without a fight. Then we'll have to give them one. 
The bloodshed won't end until Regala is defeated. What matters is the soldier they took captive, Nikala. She's been their prisoner for some time now. She's my only lead to finding Cabo. We'll get her back. And then Cabo, too. The outpost should be just ahead. You take point, I'll follow. A rebel outpost. I have to find whoever's in charge and stop them from causing any more harm.
Strange. Planks of wood, with nothing on top of it. The desert clan should pledge to Regala. She's their blood. What was that? I knew it! To battle! Oh. That's all of them. Our scouts said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. There. That's the post. Oh, no Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. I might be able to find Nicole's Come, Aloy. tracks with my focus. Back to the task at hand. There. Tracks leading away Dead from the end. post. No. I think there's something under that wood. Take my hand, Nicola. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? <sighs> Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. <sighs> How'd you end up here? We're looking for Kavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. My comrades got away, but I was taken. Kavo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Falls Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. in my stash later. From dead soldiers. I should return them to the grove when I get a chance.
claws of the shredded jaws were enough to fight. the start of lowland territory. I could resupply before moving on. must all unite to stop Regala. Feeling exposed out here, without the cover of the jungle. Edge. Deca should be waiting for me in there.
Did the enemy give you any trouble out there? We share the same. This isn't over. She dresses for God. Karo's champion. In the name of wilds treat you well. Karo's champion is clear to enter. You can pass. I need to leave. I'm heading to the grove to see my life and speak enough to refuse the chief's orders. So, tell it to me. You, Outlander, come and trade. I'm telling the truth. Listen to him, Aroke. Not a chance. Decca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan, your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? I thought Regala's fight was with Hikaro. Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the Desert and Sky clans, we stand behind him without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. 
It's true. Our orders were to cut off Hikaru's support from the Lowland clan. But I thought that meant disrupting supply routes, not slaughtering an entire village. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the rebels, I thought Wagala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Kavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up, or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Kavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance, not the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Kavo will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. Campfire the Cavo mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Friends, Friends of Cavos? Going to have to take them out to get to that campfire. What's the word? Should we go and check? No, our orders were clear. We hold this position until they arrive. waiting to ambush whoever showed up? Yeah, we'll have some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. Hmm. Uh, Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way.
up this way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. everyone. No rebels, no machine. What did I say? Over there, by the falls. Oh, that no could help you. If that thing runs through Falls Edge, the village stands no chance. Then we stop. Right here. On your lead, Aloy. Nothing will stand in our way now! Grab your gear. We march on Falls Edge. <laughs>
You're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning, you saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. I guess... I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Dekka know what happened. Noct, welcome you. I share your enemies. And watch Enjoy you. your time in our settlement. You fought Regala. And so you're well to Angle. Only Regala drawn away to end this rebellion. Never Al felt Vander. so alive. Good day, Alan. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke... Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes.
Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo. Off a machine. We need more power. You are crap. Come and trade. 